Atentamos a Los Ángeles y este, ahorita vamos en la tarde de noche, KOR to Sports here with Zudo Ramirez fighting April 22nd at the StubHub Center. Uh, top ranks card, pay-per-view. Tell me, man, we're about two and a half weeks away or something like that. How's camp going? How you feeling? Uh, my training camp is coming really well. Uh, I'm really excited for the fight. I'm, I can't wait to be in the ring uh, to defend my title and and to to feel that all the vibe the all the the people of me. And I'm I'm really happy to come back to to the ring and and fight in April 22nd. You're fighting uh, Max Bursek, uh, as a Ukrainian fighter. Doesn't have a, a big name, but a great amateur record. He beat uh, Slava Shabronsky. He beat Sergey Kovalev in the amateurs as well. Tell he's never been knocked out before. Tell us what you know about him. Uh, and the fact that he hasn't been knocked out before is that any extra kind of pressure to you? Do you feel like you you want to get the knockout even more so to kind of make a bigger statement? No, 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 no. Because uh, uh, in the box, uh, never, never, never know when it happened the the, the KO, and I'm really prepared for 12 round and for really challenging fight to for really explosion fight for me and. I know him a, a little bit. To, uh, I know a little bit about the, the Max Bursak, but I know that he was a really, really good uh, mature career. And I'm like I say, I'm I'm happy because I know that he can, a uh, really prepared, strong guy. And whatever the whatever uh, whatever he brings to the table, I wanna be ready for him. You're getting some some great sparring out here in Southern California. Your trainer was telling me just like 12 rounds with with David Benavides. He's he's uh, fighting for a number one contender spot. Tell me tell me about that those sparring sessions. How, how do those go with uh, with David Benavides? Yeah, David Benavides is a tough fighter. He's a young guy, and I I, I did uh, 12 round and with uh, and an, another fighter too, uh, um, Bibo. He's a uh, uh, Super uh, light heavyweight and champion of the world, and I'm that uh, that way I feel really confident about my training camp because he's a, a, a great a great sparring partner, and uh, my like I say my my training camp is really really coming good, and I'm I'm really I'm really ready for for this 20 second. One, uh, a future opponent of yours, that, or at least hopefully a future opponent of yours, uh, yeah. Triple G versus Jacobs, uh, just happened a few weeks ago. Tell us what you thought about the fight. Uh, obviously, Triple G didn't get the knockout. The, the 23 fight <laughs> knockout streak kind of went to, didn't, didn't complete with, uh, with Jacobs. Do you feel that that was because of the size of Jacobs? Do you feel like uh, maybe that's a, a good sign for you, being that, that you're a bigger fighter once you get in the ring with, with Triple G? Tell us about that fight and what you took from it. Um, like I, I, I say, uh, I'm really, I'm, I'm ready for anybody. I'm ready for, for Triple G. But first thing of fear, first twenty second after that, uh, whatever is coming, that's a matter. And and that fight, I think uh, uh, <coughs> Triple G, he, he, he looking for, he looking forward all the time. He, he tried to knock, knock him out to Jacob, but. Uh, Jacob, he he don't pressure on too much in the in the in the beginning of the fight and and maybe in the middle of the fight he tried to pressure and that way he he can won. And but if if he if he pressure uh, to the beginning of the fight maybe he he wanna he he won that fight. But but like I say like uh, for one two point he uh, triple G he won that fight. What well, what is it about? Triple G, because most people seem to be 
running away from him. You seem to be kind of running towards that fight. What, what is it about him? Is there something you see? Is it just, obviously, we know fighters aren't afraid of, of other fighters, but what is it specifically about him that you feel that you really, really want that fight and you're, you're actively going for it? First of all, because he is a, a champion of the world and he is a pound for pound, for pound fighter, and that's why I want to be a pound for pound fighter. I want to be the, like a superstar that, that all the people that know me, and that, that's why I, I want the that he have in the table. And, and, up, and also he say he's a Mexican warrior, and me too, and, and I think that fight may, maybe wanna happen in, in this year to the end, and I'm really happy for that, and because he won, he, he, he wanna fight with me, and, and me too, and let's make it happen. Yeah, no, I, I talked to Abel Sanchez about that, and, and he said that, uh, that you're definitely one of the guys they're looking at once they move up to 168, once eventually that happens. He, you know, he he's he mentioned obviously the Canelo fight if that happens in September. Speaking about Canelo, you've sparred him before. He obviously has a big fight against uh, Chavez Jr. You're similar stature to Chavez. You're tall, long. How do you feel uh, Canelo is going to do against Chavez? And and tell me about those sparring sessions as well. Uh, for the sparring session, that was uh, great. I learned a lot. And and for the fight that uh, Canelo and Chavez, that wanna be a, a huge fight. Huge, very huge fight, and 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 they and the people they asking for that fight, and they wanna give give it to them, and it's good for all the the Mexican people, the 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 Latinos, they wanna see that fight, and, and it's good for them because they wanna give that fight. Being having been in the ring with with Canelo before, do you feel he's gonna have any issues with a taller fighter, with a longer fighter like like Chavez? Uh, he uh, Canelo he has a. a, a the, his skill, he's a smart guy. He he used the, his distance really good, and Chavez, uh, he coming forward all the time. He look, he wanna try to look in the, the 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 fight, and and I think Canelo, he ha, he has a lot of chance, and and but uh, we never know in 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 the ring, and and it's fifty fifty, and hopefully they they give it, they give to them uh, to the people that. Uh, very good show. If if you had to pick a winner in that fight, who who are you leaning towards? Anyone. <laughs> anyone. <laughs> yeah. Anyone. I'm, I'm like I say. I'm ready. I'm ready. If they wanna fight with me, I'm happy. But uh, but if not, if they don't wanna, no, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm to the next one. Yeah. yeah. Gilberto, thank you so much for your time. April twenty second, top rank pay per view, StubHub Center. Catch it on pay-per-view or go to uh, Step Up Center here in Southern California. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate Thank your time. You. Thank, you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it.